Well, looks like the conference was a big success. The new line of beverages by Don Winery appears to have garnered a significant amount of attention and interest from the attendees. I'm glad it went over so well. It wasn't my first wine industry conference, of course. They are pretty commonplace, given the line of work I'm in. But bringing along an assistant with me this time certainly helped me with staying organized and making sure that everything went smoothly. With your assistance in mind, I was able to manage everything calmly. I showcased the new product line successfully without any lingering concerns hanging over my head. The notes you took definitely made things easier for me. You really do have quite the talent for planning and paying meticulous attention to detail. I must say, I was highly impressed with the way you went the extra mile. I can tell you take your job as my assistant seriously. Thank you for all of your valuable efforts. They align perfectly with the excellence and professionalism we strive for at Dawn Winery. The success we achieved surpassed all of my expectations. I don't think it could have gone any better. Uh, again, I must give you my sincerest thanks. You did a great job today. I knew I chose the right candidate to be my personal assistant. I'm grateful for all the hard work you do. Not only for me, but for Dawn Winery as a whole. Thank you for always doing your best. I appreciate it. Hmm. You must be feeling tired after the conference, aren't you? Mm. Yes, I had the feeling you probably were in need of some rest. We did have to wake up early in the morning to be on time for it. And it ended up lasting a little longer than planned. Plus, considering all the effort you put in, it's understandable that you'd want a break. You know, I'm actually feeling a bit tired myself. It's been a very long day for me too. I probably won't stay up for much longer either. <sighs> well, good thing the baggage handlers already took care of our bags for us. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. Our luggage is waiting in the two-bedroom suite the hotel provided for us at the conference. Yes, the one in the photos on the hotel's website. Should be nice and spacious. We'll be staying under the same roof, but we'll each have our own rooms so it won't be uncomfortable. I appreciate the hotel accommodating our needs for privacy. Now then, I believe it's this door, over here. Oh, wait, huh? This, this isn't right. The key worked and I see our bags over in that corner. But this doesn't look at all like the website's photos. N no, there definitely must have been some sort of mix-up. I see only one bed. We were each supposed to have our own. Well, I'm sure it's not something we have to worry about. I'll just call the desk up and have them fix this.
Good evening. This is Dealer Dragonvender in Suite 555. It seems that there's been a misunderstanding. My assistant and I were offered to stay at a suite with separate rooms. But this one only has one bed. Would it be possible to get a suite with the correct configuration? Are you sure that everything is booked? Maybe there's been a cancellation. Can you double check, please? <sighs> Still no? Well then, I guess there's no choice. If it's just for one night, I suppose we'll figure something out. Thank you. So, it sounds like we'll have to stay here for tonight. I'm too tired to make a big fuss over it right now. It's, uh, a little, uh, unexpected. But it's not the end of the world. I'll just sleep on the sofa tonight. What? There's no way I can allow you to be the one sleeping on the couch. Won't you feel uncomfortable? Oh, you're concerned about me? There's no need to be. I'll be fine. I can take the couch and you can take the bed. All right? <sighs> Look, if we keep arguing back and forth like this, we aren't going to get anywhere. We're both tired. There's no point in staying up and arguing over it. Since you insist, I guess we'll both have to settle for sharing the same bed. It's not that strange. It's just not something I was anticipating would happen tonight. But it's fine. I suppose. Huh. Even though they couldn't give us two bedrooms, at least you managed to get separate bathrooms. You go ahead and get ready for bed. I just need a moment to freshen up and change into something more comfortable for sleep. I won't take long. All done? All right, then. I'll just, um, make sure to stay over on this side. And you can stay over at your side. There we go. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's still a little... different. But it's certainly not as uncomfortable as I was expecting. In fact, I could even say that I feel a bit at ease with you. Oh no. That sounded strange, didn't it? <sighs> well, I'm not used to dealing with this kind of situation. As I've mentioned before, 
You are someone who I feel like I can trust. I just know that other people would think of this as strange. Why? Well, I'm aware of my reputation as someone who's always on his own. Never seen with a partner, or even just friends or acquaintances. So I'm sure if someone could see this scene somehow, they would... Um... They think we were possibly closer than just the boss and his personal assistant. That's all. You really wouldn't mind that? The press would never leave you alone. It could blow up into a whole scandal. Uh, I don't like thinking about it. If I let those thoughts take up too much space in my mind right now, they'll end up keeping me awake. Let's just fall asleep, all right? Good night. Huh. Maybe having someone to stay close to me is actually nicer than I thought. Hope you enjoyed our time together today. Now then, be sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss an upcoming audio. For adults only, patreon.com slash anegomi has plenty of exclusive audios waiting for you. You can also commission a custom audio by going to anegomi.com slash commissions. Until next time. <laughs>